Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. I wanna to talk to you about a Kickstarter out on Kickstarter, obviously, right? It's a new campaign. Uh, it's been running for about a week. They actually already met goal, already met goal, but it doesn't matter. I wanna tell you about these cards because I think everyone's gonna be talking about them. This is the Resurrected deck, version two, version two from Abraxas Playing Cards, Nathan Lindley and Peter Turner. Now this deck came out a while back, originally in red. Uh, Peter Turner had it done. He and Phil Smith, Phil Smith did all their artwork and come on, Phil Smith, mentalist, amazing graphic designer, magician, come on. He, everything this guy touches, quality. Uh, they put out a deck of cards together a little while back. It was a marked deck, did a review for it. Uh, it was received very well, sold out. And I liked them. I did, I liked them. I, I mean, I love the art, right? Love the art. I wished the deck of cards had been made a little better. Quality of the paper, right? I think cards go hand in hand. You gotta have great designer. You have, a, have to have a great artist, but then you also have to have great stock, okay? It's not enough just to have a great design. You can't just, you know, print with whoever. You gotta, you gotta go with somebody good. And so what Nathan Lindley did down at Abraxas Playing Cards, he bought the rights to the original resurrected deck and he resurrected it. <laughs> Resurrect, what, what is that? Resurrected squared? Resurrected squared? It's been resurrected and resurrected again. Uh, he then went back to the original notes that Peter and Phil Smith worked out together and uh, tried to bring this deck to light again. Maybe I should have said bring, bring, maybe I should have said brought this bet. Maybe I should have said brought this deck back to life again. I'm really playing on the whole resurrected theme, aren't I? Check the notes and then just try to make this deck more like what Pete's original vision was. And as a disclaimer, I always have to say, you know, what I have now is a prototype deck. Uh, I know there's going to be changes to this deck. Don't don't think that the deck I have right now is gonna be exactly the one you receive. I know the court cards are gonna look different. I know the tuck case is gonna look different. So this is just a teaser. This is just for fun, uh, just to get you excited and to hopefully send you down to Kickstarter so that you can back this project. The tuck case is all done in a matte black. The front says goodbye straight from the Ouija board. You got the planchette there in the center with the all seeing eye. One side says for use by the living and the dead. The other side says Resurrected version two and the bottom has some ad copy about Abraxas playing cards. The back, top, and inside are all blank on my tuck case and that's everything I can say. Let's break it open and look at these cards. These cards are printed from Cardamundi on their beautiful B9 stock, one of the preferred stocks of many, a designer and magician and cardist. The back design is a Ouija board with the planchettes there in the center. You also have crossed keys and the word goodbye above and below. There's also a bunch of numbers. Yes, no, maybe, the sun, the moon. Uh, have I told you that there's an intuitive marking system on here? That's true. There's a marking system on the back. You can learn it in seconds. It'll allow you to know the identity of any card. There's also a color mark on this uh, that'll allow you to instantly know if it's black or red, which would be great for a face down out of this world effect. There's also several very subtle one-way markings that allow you to know the orientation of all the cards, even when the cards are in a fan or spread. Plus there's an extra marking on the back that'll allow you to put the deck back into Mnemonica, even if you don't know Mnemonica. With this deck, you'll get two extra cards. You'll get a blank face card and a key card that tells you how to read the marking system. Also with this deck, you'll get a yes, no, Joker pair, uh, the sun is yes, the moon is no. These are great for mentalism effects and fortune telling reveals. Your ace of spades is simple. Has the planchette there in the center with an A underneath to make it look like an ace of spades. It says resurrected version two underneath that. Your pips and indice cards are black and red. Everything like you'd expect. Your court cards are exactly how you'd expect as well. However, they've been stripped of some extra color and they're just down to the reds and blacks. Uh, Nathan told me that he's gonna add some special customization, uh, perhaps to their faces or even to their eyes, which will make them kind of a little spookier. And I believe the deck will also come in 
the Monica in the tuck case. What are some other things I can tell you? Uh, if you back this deck, it's also gonna come with a two hour magic tutorial. It'll teach you magic tricks that you can do with this deck plus a PDF and you'll have access to an exclusive Facebook group where you can talk to the other backers. I really love the first resurrected deck. I know when it came out originally at Blackpool, uh, what was it, 2018? It sold out immediately, and I'm sure this one will as well. Get yourself down to Kickstarter and back this project today. I wanna thank uh, Nathan Lindley, thank Peter Turner, everybody down at the Resurrected Version 2 project for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.